Today, one of two friends who helped a DeBerry teen cover up the murder of his mother was sentenced to 14 years of probation and 364 days in jail. Brian Porras pleaded no contest to a charge of accessory after the fact. West 2 Samak Gebregetigas is live in Volusia County, and tonight this man was the last to be sentenced in this 2018 murder case. That's right, guys. Gregory Ramos, who, was, who killed his mother in 2018, is currently serving 45 years in prison. And one of the friends who was charged with accessory after the fact got 10 years probation last year. And then in court today, the last friend facing that same charge, Brian Porras, walked out with handcuffs on after the judge told him his fate. I cannot say enough. Truly, like, how sorry I am. In court Friday, Brian Porras broke down in tears, asking for forgiveness for his part in covering up a murder. I, I think about what if this was happening to my family. The judge sentenced him to 14 years of probation and 364 days in jail. Porras, now 21 years old, was one of two friends accused of helping Gregory Ramos hide his tracks after he killed his mother, Gail Clevenger. Ramos strangled his mother in November 2018, then buried her beneath a fire pit at a local church after a fight over his school grades. The friends Porras and Dylan Siglaric were 17 at the time when they helped Ramos stage a burglary at the family's home after the killing. One of the lead investigators in the case testified in court about how how alarming the friends' actions were when they were in the back of a patrol car during the investigation. They shouldn't go down for this and that um, they should have a light sentence. He testified the boys is saying made jokes. Part of the audio was played in court as the victim's family hung their heads and some were in tears. I would catch a grenade for ya. Clevenger's family members said Porus should face tough consequences. My husband and I have to parent children who have experienced unimaginable trauma. You should have time to think about how you contributed to this tragedy. Now, Porus has had to wear an ankle monitor since the murder happened, and some of his family members also testified in court today, saying he has since tried to better his life by pursuing a college degree and getting a job. The judge told him today that he should see it as an opportunity after getting his fate by continuing to improve his life and continue down on that path after he gets out of jail. We're live in Volusia County, Snagavergetigas, Wash 2 News.